So today in Power War Simulator, I thought that instead of trying to stop a train, we would try to clean one. Now, if you look over here, we have some old 1980s choo-choo train over here. This thing is completely covered in rust. This thing won't be moving anytime soon unless we can clear it all off. However, before we start cleaning the train, I would like to take a quick look around the area and see what we're dealing with here. This is the Dune Rocket. This exhibit was placed here in memory of Mayor Jeff Jefferson the 10th. When the dust finally settled, the mayor was nowhere to be found. He had ridden out of town on a rail and into the sunset, never to return again. Well, he didn't ride out of town on this one, because I'm telling you right now, the track's not even finished. We got a newspaper here. Bigfoot strikes again. Oh my goodness, there's a gnome in the doorway. See, guys? There's a lot of lore in the power wash world, okay? It's not just a game about cleaning. It's a game about mystery. Cats. Cats is a big one. Bigfoot's out there. Gnomes follow you around. I'm starting to think this might be a horror game, but there's no time to waste. Let's get the clean here. Now, as a professional myself, here I am using the Prime Vista Pro here. A $5,000 power wash. Most powerful one in the world here. And you can see that the rust, the dirt, just gently comes off just like that even with the green nozzle it it kind of okay let's let's switch to the yellow here the yellow nozzle is what you really want to use here that's how you really get the nitty gritty dirt off here you can see a lot of this dirt here is pretty stubborn that's okay we're gonna start over here this is the steam chest we're gonna be learning about choo-choo trains today so you know buckle in get your notepad out i'm gonna quiz y'all in the comments down below it's next to the like button if y'all want to tap that while you're down there that would be great for me here uh, yeah, so right now, this is the steam chest here. I'll go ahead. Oh, guys, check this out. Check this out. You can now rotate your camera or your cursor like this. It's supposed to help with motion sickness. So if you get sick, uh, this is supposed to help. Are you guys you guys feeling sick? Is this helping at all? It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I feel like I'm getting more sick using it, but it is working. Okay, this is the cow catcher. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is it called a cow catcher? Is it in case a moo cow runs in front of the train while you're going full speed? You have to catch it or something? I really don't know. Okay, let's get under here. Look at that. Get this, uh, get this part all cleaned up here. I'm switching between the new aim mode and normal mode. You're really getting those nooks and grannies here. Oh, that was a steam exhaust pipe. Did he even know I was cleaning it? Apparently I was. Let's go ahead and get all up here. Okay, let me take a, let me take a moment here. Okay, judging by this, I say I would have this entire thing cleaned. I want to say 20 minutes here, but I'm starting to notice there's a lot of, like, nooks here, like, down in here. Really going to have to make me work for it here. There's a lot of little spots here. And then you got to do the other side, too. I'm sure there's some wheels over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm starting to think maybe two hours. So I think I want to start over here. I want to start with the underneath carriage part and work my way to the tippy top. I like to work bottom upwards it makes me feel better but in real life you would want to work top to bottom you see here's the thing let's say you clean all this right you're working on the bottom clean all this and you're like i'm gonna clean the top in real life ha ha all that dirt is now falling to the bottom and then you have to do the bottom again that's not how you want to do things but in the video game you can kind of do whatever you want you know and for me personally i now i want to work on this part okay i want to do a straight shot across like this I want to make a line that separates where I want to clean. Now I want to work everywhere below that. See that? See how I'm doing this? This is efficient. This is the way you want to clean, my friends. And it's not, actually. This is a really stupid idea. Now I'm going to work on this part here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I have really bad ADHD. And today, for some reason, it's just twice as worse as it was the other day. So this might take me... I might give myself five hours to clean this. I'm thinking five hours of clean this will be acceptable now. Okay, I've got my brain back in order here. I'm going to go back to the very bottom wooden platform here. This is the coal car platform. You got to make sure... Now I'm going to clean this part, though. This is the coal car platform base here. And I'm going to get this wheel while I'm here. Just really make sure I get this wheel nice and clean. I'm going to clean this part here. This is the wheel truck. I really want to get this part clean. A little crack there that I'm going to get into. Get that part there. And then I'm going to come over here to this wheel here. And you can see the dirt is coming off. And I just cleaned the coal sk car skirt. Oh! I just got the coal platform base in accident. I was trying to get this wheel here. And, uh, yeah, I accidentally got one. So, we're going to go ahead and mark that one into your notebooks here. Remember what this is called? The coal, coal platform base car? So, you got to write that down here. I'm going to quiz y'all later on. And I don't, I don't want to see anybody fail in my quiz here. 
Now, I'm wondering why this part isn't going ding yet. What am I missing on this this particular thing here? Let me hit the tab button here. You see? They're hiding the dirt on you. They got it back there, squeezed behind this thing, and I'm really I'm not sure how to get back there yet. I'm not I'm not a small guy. Okay, I can't just fit back there. Try to angle it here. Really get in there a little bit, you know. Really kind of give it a, my best go here. But I'm having some troubles getting in there. See if I can. Like, this is just stupid. How do they put the dirt? How do they expect you to get it out of there? I feel like any moment, though. Oh, there it goes. See? You just got to wiggle your little aimer here. Every time they add a new mechanic to the game, they expect you to use it. Remember when they added pronin to the game when you get down in your belly? Oh, my goodness. I okay. Well, that was good. Let's get the coal skirt over here. We gotta get this part. I don't like the way it's looking at me. You see, I like to work from the bottom upwards because I always find the bottom of the object that I'm cleaning to be a little bit more difficult to clean. Because that's where you gotta get down on your hands and knees and really work that pressure washer into all the nooks and grannies here. Whereas the top part, you can kind of just go crazy and get that done in like two seconds. So I wanna get the hard stuff done first so I can relax. And, and, and enjoy the easy stuff, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes it doesn't work out that way because you think you cleaned the hard stuff and then you turn around and you clean the easy stuff and you didn't even realize it and then you still have to clean all the hard stuff. Okay, all my wheels on all sides are now clean. The base is cleaned. I'm going to work on the skirt here. You can see there's a lot of dirt on the skirt. Really don't want dirty skirts. It's basically the equivalent of having dirty pants. Okay, all my hooks and stuff like that have been pretty darn clean. I am now switching gears. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this top platform. Now you see how see what we're talking about? How the top part's just easier? Look how that dirt just melts away, satisfyingly getting every speck of dirt just out of here. Just really working my power washer up and back down. Now you can't tell me that this doesn't look like a good time. See that? Look at that. Look how that's working. See that? Take notes, fellas. Look at that. And this should be going ding in any moment now. There it goes. Let's go to the tippy top. Let's go. Let's, let's try to climb this here. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, I don't want to use my ladder if I don't have to here. There we go. This is called the top hatch. We're just going to go ahead and knock the, the top hatch real quick. And then we'll start the hard part of the train. We're doing the easy part first, I guess. I wanted to do the hard part first, but I'm doing the easy part first. All right, it's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. And there it goes. That's the whole part. Now we're going to do this green. This Okay, that's done. And honestly, guys, I think the back... Oh, I got to do this part here. <laughs> this this train's almost done, though. This back part, this is almost completely done. And then we got to do the front part. And that's it. Then we're out of here. Soap has been equipped. Now it's time to just blast this bad boy. This is metal soap. We're just going to try to get as much of it off as we can here. It does seem to be working. Nothing's going ding. I was hoping it would. Man, this stuff is pretty stubborn. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's exactly what we want to see here. We want to use the soap and the hard stuff, right? And these folks are definitely the hard stuff. So let's go ahead and try to... There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Yes, it's working. Okay, I got a lot of metal soap, guys. So I can knock out these wheels really fast if this continues to work like this. All right, last wheel. Last wheel right here. Yes, last wheel here. Okay, yeah. Okay, we filled my metal soap here. And just really give it a nice, gentle, gentle coating of that soap there. And we should be hearing that sweet dinging sound any moment now. Get underneath it. Let's not waste it, though. Because we can use the soap on the rest of this train, too. That's the thing. This whole thing is made out of metal, which is great. Not sure. There it goes. So many things are going ding on accident. I'm accidentally cleaning half of this train all at once. Oh, my goodness. There's something else. See, I don't even know what I just got done. But I've got something done. There's a wheel frame here. It's this piece here. So there's a little dirt. Oh, I see it. It's on top of this part here. There it goes. Perfect. We've got a metal guide here. Okay. Oh, I ran out of metal soap there for a second. Let's go ahead and refill that. Can I get it any higher? Oh, I got something. Oh, I got... Oh, okay. Okay. Things are happening. All right, fellas. We basically got everything underneath cleaned over here. I'm switching back to my normal pressure washer here. There's a few spots on this wall here that I'm just going to hit with the normal power washer just like this. Don't need any soap for this part. I'm only going to use the soap when it's, like, mandatory, which I feel like these spokes in this bottom part was mandatory. So there's something back here on this wheel frame here. The wheel panel, I'm, I mean. There's some dirt somewhere. See, there's a little speck there. Look at that. 
down here. Oh, down here, down here. That's where it's at. See, the soap couldn't get down there. Mm -mm. The soap could not do that. No, I don't want to boast or brag or anything, but uh, if you notice at the top left there, we are currently 74% done with this choo-choo train here. Rapidly approaching the nice 100% mark here, and I haven't even touched these stairs yet. What am I thinking here? You get these stairs out of the way, you're at a nice 75%, absolutely guaranteed here. Go underneath here like that. And we're still at 74%. Get a little upset about these stairs here. Really not sure why. Let's get over here, maybe. Just want to see it hit 75% for a second there. 75% would be nice to see. I want 75%. 75% there it is. I got a button. I cleaned one button. Alrighty, fellas. Look at what I have been working on. I got the entire inside of this place basically clean. There's still some little specks in here that I have to go through and, you know, really, really kind of get the, some of the stuff off of here. Like this, like the ground there. And there's like some nooks and crannies over here that I really have to dig deep in, find like little little spots here. But overall, this is looking pretty darn good up in here. Let's get under here. I saw some dirt there. Let's get some of this. See, some of this dirt though is like really stubborn rust. And it's really making you work for it. Like there's little tiny spots in here that you really just have to find. They're hiding things on you. Like, like underneath here for real? How does this dirt even get there? See this little pole here? The handrail, I'm balancing perfectly on there. This lets me get a perfect top-down trajectory of my water spray in. So I can really work that dirt on out of there. Look at that! This is working so well! Oh my goodness. Okay. This is perfect, guys. This is exactly what I wanted to see here. All right. All we have to do now, I think, is the top part of the choo-choo train. And then we're going to be out of here. We are at 94% cleaned right now. 95 now, 95 now. Look at that. It is rapidly going up because we had a large amount of dirt up here, but it's in big, large surfaces. So we might even get a 96% done after we're done this red. Oh, 96%. Look at that. I just said it. Okay, that this is working out well. So this green one right here is called the boiler. Look at that. But this gray one, that's the smoke box. Oh, I'm learning today. I'm learning so much about trains here. It's unbelievable, honestly. Oh my goodness. It's got the furnace. This green one's the furnace. This one's the boiler. That one's the boiler. It's almost done, guys. It's almost a 99% done. Now is where the true game begins. What did I miss and where is it? Because you know I'm going to I'm gonna get this big thing done and it's going to be like, you missed the valve handle of the smokestack boiler position. Oh, there it is. There's the boiler. Smoke box not done, though. Smoke box is not done. Pressing the dirt button. I see some dirt down there. Oh. Didn't even notice that was dirty. Oh, the front. The front here. This is a smoke box door. Okay. Headlamp. See, you always find more dirt, guys. And not only that, but we're in the middle of a windy, a windy day in the middle of the desert. So there's dirt flying everywhere, honestly. This is like playing Where's Waldo. I can't find... Oh, wait. I see some dirt. See it? The little tiny specks. Okay, well, there's more than that. There is more than that, apparently. I'm pressing the dirt button. It's like really in there. How do they expect it to get this out of there? I really don't know. I'm in a little bit of a crisis here. There's like one speck of dirt in there somewhere. <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. <gasps> okay, that's the hard part. I got the hard part done. Oh my goodness. Okay, look, look, look. On the left, to, to, to do. Furnace valve, crank rod, and a signal lamp. This is a signal lamp right here. We can easily knock this one out. Oh my goodness, this is the best part. Why is this going down? There it goes. Okay. Crank rod is one of something over here, I believe. That's a crank rod, but that's done. This was not. This was not done. That's done. Furnace valve. Furnace valve. Where's the furnace? Is it? It's in here. It's in here. It's this one. This is the furnace. <gasps> okay. Okay. Not the best part. Not the best part. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We go. Watch. 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 Nobody leave. Nobody leave. Watch this. Look at, Look at the pace. This is world record speed run pace right here, my friends. Look how clean it has become after how dirty it has been. That's what I'm talking about. 